channel Creative Art. I am Nilima and today friends we are going to do decoupage art on a very simple cardboard box and make it into such a beautiful gift box. So friends please to watch the whole video to make it yourself and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notification for each video I post every week. So let's start the video now friends. So friends this time I have got all my materials from one stop which is itsy bitsy. I'll mention the website link in the description box below. You can also visit their store. They manufacture their own art materials and you can get each and every type of art material in the same store or website. They also give a lot of discount on their website. So do check it out to get all these materials from one stop. First for my base I'm going to use this kind of cardboard box. It is actually very light and good cardboard box. You can also use it for gifting and I got it for just rupees 80. This is called decorable box perfect for decoupage, painting, tensile art, decoration and more. So the same type of box if you buy in wooden you get it for at least 200 to 250 rupees. Next we are going to need a decoupage paper. So this is the cheapest decoupage paper I have ever got because I have got four sheets of A4 size and it has two different designs this is the first one and this is the next one so just from this four I can actually make about 10 different decoupage arts and they have so many beautiful designs with them this was one of it this was one of it we're going to use them in our future videos but for this one I'm going to use this beautiful piece next we're going to need chalk paint of course to color the base deco magic premium deco page glue I'm using the glossy version and decor varnish this is also the gloss so 100 ml 100 ml and this is 60 60 ml punch brush palette so let's start now friends. So now friends our first step is to give a base color to our base. So I'm going to use a box and I'm going to use a home decor collection, a matte chalk acrylic paint. This is snow color and a sponge brush to do it. So first of all I'll take some color in my palette. Shake the bottle very well. Just a little bit is enough. Using my sponge I'll tap 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 on the color and then tap the color on the box. Give it a very smooth and thin layer of the color. If you don't have a sponge, you can also do it with the help of a brush. I'm very much used to using a brush. As I'm very much used to brush, so I'm going to use my brush. I'm going to color it from outside also. now we will let them get dry now friends our next step is to cut the decoupage paper so I observed that this paper is quite thicker than the decoupage napkins or the rice paper we use so the way to cut it is going to be different as it does not wet easily with water so I'm going to use my scissor and cut out this part of the design so friends maybe this time I have to hide the edges using some paint or something but but this is the piece I'm going to place on my box let me see it is fine I'll cut the extra top now friends our box has also got dried up let me check okay our piece fits perfectly on the box I may have to cover the edges using some paint so let's see so now friends I'm going to use deco magic premium decoupage glue this is the glossy bottle to place our decoupage paper on the base so first of all shake the bottle well and pour some quantity in your palette this much would be enough then using a flat hair brush give an even coating on the top of the box where I want to place my decoupage paper okay this is fine and then place it exactly remember this is the one time thing place it exactly where you want it to be paper is quite thick so I'm just using my fingers to level it up okay let it get dry for a few seconds and then layer it up with one more layer of decoupage glue the glue will dry transparent so you need not worry okay I'm going to leave the edges as it is 
because i'm going to scrape them off later now we will let it get dry so friends till our top part of the box gets dry i'm going to color the inside and the outside of the bottom piece using home decor collection this is french rose color i'm going to use inside and a light pale green color on the outer side okay so pour your color in palette i'll keep this one aside and using a flat hair brush i'll start coloring the inside of the box now i do want to color this inside part of the box okay so the coloring of inside of the box is completed and i guess the outer part has also got dried up and now i'm going to use a pale green color to color the outside of the box so this is how it looks from inside and outside so i will let this part get dry now as our top layer has got dried up so now i am going to remove this extra piece of paper so either you can cut it off using a sharp blade or you can scrape it using a nail file like this or a sandpaper i am unable to find my sandpaper so i'll do it using this one then this side also as I have done decoupage on a cardboard box, so I won't do a lot of filing. It may damage my box. So now friends, after the top part is clean and dry, I'm going to place my final layer of acrylic paint and I'm going to do it using a sponge brush. So currently I don't have a sponge brush, so I'm going to simply roll a sponge using this side for dabbing. I'm using a rose pink color and a light brown color. So this is how I'm going to do it. I will dab this color and just tap 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 on all the sides of the box in this way. I'm going to dab it on the edges. So this will help you hiding the corners of the paper. And now use some rose pink and dab it on. Make sure there are no bubbles left. That won't look good. I'm going to take some more rose pink color and dab it on all the sides. So now we will let it get dry. Okay, with my finishing touch friends, I'm thinking to use a little bit of a rose pink color and dab it randomly on the box. And then take some glitters and dab it on the top. I'm using almond color glitters, you'll find it on their website. You can always use some glitter with the decoupage art, it makes it look fabulous. You can do the same on the sides also. So now friends, my top layer of color and glitters have got dried up completely and this is how our box looks from the inside and outside. So now friends, it's time to do our final step which is varnishing. So I'm going to use Decor Varnish Gloss, pour it in my palette, my palette is almost full, use a good quantity of varnish and then using a flat hair brush start applying varnish on the decoupage, glitter part and all the parts of the box okay. Always apply a generous amount of varnish on your decors and art pieces. It is really really very important because that is the only thing will save your decors and art pieces from wearing off, protected from dust and UV rays. So I have done my varnishing part. A lot of glitter got on our deco page but let's see how it looks when it will dry. I'm going to do it a bit of gloss on my box also. Now let the whole thing get dry for at least an hour. So friends, this is how beautiful our decoupage box looks when the whole varnish has got dried up. I just love the glittering effect and the antique look we have given to it. A very simple cardboard box can be converted into such a beautiful gift box or jewelry box just by doing a decoupage art on it. So friends, I hope you like my videos, so please check it a try, make it yourself and tell me in the comments below friends, what do you think about this video and if you do like my videos friends, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.